Okay, the last video here is we'll look at a few of the features. Now that we've kind of juried in and out a few of those submissions, you can see that the admin dashboard statistics have changed a little bit. I can quickly see by this stacked bar chart that photography has um, this many in and this many out, and 3D design pretty much has everything in. These three categories have yet to been juried. You can also see some statistics about your jurying. So photography has four out of seven that were juried in, or 57% juried out three out of seven or 42% and they've all been juried. So seven out of 15 on in total were the juried in and that means that there was a 26% acceptance rate inside of um, the photography category in relation to the entire show. So basically this means that 26% for 26% for. And you can kind of go through and walk through each one of these and see all those specific statistics to see how many are in or out per category. Um, the last couple features here, which we'll look at, are underneath the drop down here. Now, back underneath the submissions, you'll notice that there's a little print icon next to each one of the submissions. And the users, when they log in, they also see this print icon. And it's just an optional feature, but you can print out what we call receipt pages. And oftentimes, once a submission has been juried into a show, of course, there becomes the physical submission process where your, your users will drop off their artwork. And this is just a simple page to where your users can print off and you can kind of use this to keep track of your submissions and it will print a submission tag. So what we've seen shows do is, for example, the user will print this page and uh, you'll cut the page in two halves. They can then the show can then tape this submission or attach this to the back of the submission piece and then the user would keep their claim receipt and they would bring this back when they claim their artwork and then you can use this tag right here as a is a hang tag to hang on the pieces during the judging of your event or something similar so again not necessary but maybe a handy little uh, page for quite a few calls out there and the ph here is coming from the category abbreviation names. So that's how that uh, abbreviation is used throughout the system. It's used in generating these little, what we call um, display IDs for your submissions. So each one of the submissions will have a different uh, tag. This is the 3D, so this is the 3D5. Anyway, so that's the little print tags that you can use um, or not use in your particular call. Now another handy feature is up under here, the drop down menu, there's a print view. So if you select the print view, this will show you kind of a master layout of all of the juried in submissions for your call. And this is helpful during the uh, drop off period as well. So as you're accepting physical drops off, drop offs, you can kind of print out this master page and then kind of check them off as they come in. Um, so you kind of have a master copy and we're able to see which submissions were dropped off versus which one were not. Um, so that's what this view kind of is, is just a uh, master print view of all of the juried in submissions that you can keep at a desk. Um, the last feature here, which is another helpful feature, is an export view. So I'm going to click export data and what this will do is it's actually going to download an Excel sheet. It's actually a CSV file, but I'll open up right in Microsoft Excel. And this file down here that's just downloaded, let me go ahead and open this up. This file is basically a master copy of your show's database. And this will allow you to download all of the data and you can do all of your own custom sorting or generate nameplates and do all sorts of things with mail merge and, and Microsoft Excel or different programs. So just a quick overview here, it just is an Excel sheet. And you can see that has the category I'll expand some of these out. The category ID, the media in which it was submitted, the submission ID, the title of the submission, the submission date. This is the file name, um, which is a URL of where the big full size version is, the print version is, sale price if they've entered one. There's my custom field. There's the uh, first name and the last name, the email address of the user, phone number. Again, this is just all the data for your call. Any award, you'll remember that I assigned one an award. Here's the juried in, juried out status for all those different submissions. Pending means they haven't been juried yet. And in here, then you can do any sort of custom sorting you need um, in this Excel sheet. You can sort by all of these 
main columns up here and uh, have this simple export file. These are time stamped. So 11-23-2013, 8-24 is the time of day. So that feature is really handy to allow you to be able to export all of your submission data into your own custom sorting.